Elon Musk considers South Korea for next Tesla Gigafactory. November 23, 2022. South Korea's presidential office revealed that President Yoon suk Yol and Elon Musk conversed about Tesla in a video call on Wednesday. November 23. During the video call, Elon Musk reportedly told President Yoon that he considered South Korea one of the top candidates for a Tesla factory in Asia. Reported Reuters. Since the beginning of the year, Musk has teased that Tesla plans to announce its next Gigafactory location by the end of 2022. Tesla Canada. Last quarter, a few documents and occurrences appeared to suggest that Tesla might build its next Gigafactory in Canada. The Minister of Innovation, Science and Industry in Canada, Francois Philippe Champagne FPC, confirmed that he held talks with Tesla. Minister Champagne also visited Tesla's Markham facility in Canada. The Markham site makes machines installed at Tesla Gigafactories worldwide. In August, Tesla lobbyist registry documents in Canada revealed that the EV automaker initiated talks with Canada's federal government. The records covered possibilities of Tesla exploring manufacturing opportunities in Canada and speeding up permit timelines. Canada has been working on becoming the global auto industry's supplier of choice. The country is well positioned to be a strong contender as a top EV supplier in North America, especially after the United States passed the Inflation Reduction Act. IRA. Tesla G-I-G-A-F-A-C-T-O-R-Y in South Korea. Even though Canada would be a good move for Tesla with the IRA enacted, the EV automaker could also be looking to strengthen its roots in Asia. And South Korea would be a good choice. Giga Shanghai has been a powerhouse factory for the company, making significant contributions to Tesla's output and finances. However, the tension between the United States and China might place Tesla in a precarious position. South Korea is an ideal country for another Tesla Gigafactory in Asia. Elon Musk and President Yoon also talked about Tesla stepping up cooperation with South Korea on supply chains, hinting that the EV maker would have a reliable support system for a Gigafactory in the country. Tesla already has strong ties to South Korea. It works closely with LG Energy Solutions LGES to produce batteries. In June, the South Korean battery producer announced plans to invest $567.76 million to expand production at home. LGES provided Tesla RT with details on the expansion, which included plans for a new assembly that would produce 46 80 cylindrical battery cells. Source reposted and summarized from John Acrider at Tesla RT. My take maybe Elon will announce Canada and South Korea for the next two locations. Tesla Cybertruck has 1.6 million pre-orders. November 23, 2022, the Tesla Cybertruck was first unveiled as a prototype in November 2019 with the promise that it would enter production in late 2021. Tesla then had to postpone the start of production several times from late 2021 to late 2022. Then to early 2023 and most recently to the mid-2023 target for initial production. Despite these delays and changes in pricing and specifications that Tesla is still keeping secret, consumer enthusiasm for the Cybertruck never waned. Quite the contrary, the weird-looking electric pickup truck continues to be one of the most anticipated EVs alongside the second-generation Roadster. Judging by online searches, the number of Cybertruck reservations is arguably a better metric for the model's popularity than online searches. And while Tesla hasn't disclosed pre-order numbers in a long time, there's an online reservation tracker created by fans that does. Back in May 2021, we reported that the Cybertruck had reached 1 million pre-orders according to this tracker. With the number going up to 1.25 million by August 2021 and 1.3 million by November 2021. Fast forward to November 2022 and the tracker shows more than 1.6 million reservations for the Tesla Cybertruck. Electrek has found. That is an impressive number but it's worth noting the data come from a crowdsourced tracker that has no affiliation with Tesla. So this is not an exact amount but an estimate. We also need to point out that anyone can place a reservation for the Tesla Cybertruck by paying a $100 fully refundable deposit, which is far from a legally binding agreement. As a result, the 1.6 million pre-orders cannot be assimilated to confirmed orders. However, even if 10% of the claimed reservations materialize into actual orders, it's still very strong demand for a vehicle that lacks pricing information and specifications roughly half a year before the expected start of production. 
assuming Tesla does indeed have 1.6 million pre-orders. It means the company raised more than $162 million in interest-free money from reservation deposits alone. Which is not a small feat. As for the book total revenue from selling 1.6 million Cybertrucks. The tracker estimates it at a whopping $123 billion. Source reposted and summarized from Dan Mahalisku at Inside E. V. S. My take that is a lot of orders. Especially since Tesla spends nothing on advertising. Tesla now has 40,000 superchargers worldwide. November 23, 2022. Tesla has 40,000 superchargers worldwide. The company announced on its its charging Twitter account. This makes the company the largest DC fast charging network on earth. The supercharging network has been a key asset in Tesla's role as leader of the EV industry. A recent report analyzing Tesla's best-in-class return on invested capital noted that the supercharger network played a part in Tesla's economic moat. By building out its own network of DC fast chargers, Tesla was able to prevent its customers from depending on other companies to charge while on the go. Tesla's investment in its charging network has made it the largest DC fast charging network in the world. And it's only growing from there. Tesla has begun opening the network to non-Tesla EVs and according to the White House, has plans to do so in the US by the end of 2022. In November 2021, Tesla launched its supercharging pilot program in Europe, which allowed non-Tesla EVs to charge at its stations. Following a tweet from Elon Musk stating that the charging network would open to other automakers, Italy is the most recent European country to join the pilot program. Although not on the list for the pilot program, Australia will also see non-Tesla EVs at supercharging stations. Leaders from the province of New South Wales confirmed that all Tesla supercharger sites funded under the government's ultra-fast charging grants would be available to all EVs. Source reposted and summarized from John Acrider at Tesla RT. My take we will still need a lot more if we are going to make this work. Tesla relaunches referral program with new credit-based system. November 23rd. 2022, Tesla has brought back the popular referral program for owners in the US bringing with it some changes compared to the previous version that was cancelled just over one year ago. The program appears to currently only be available to US owners. Although it may be coming to Canada as well. Under the previous version of the program owners could only earn 1,500 kilometers or 1,000 miles of free supercharging credits when someone purchased a new Tesla vehicle with their referral code. Now Tesla had updated the program to work on a credit-based system where owners can accumulate credits for referrals that can be redeemed for not only supercharging credits, but also Tesla merchandise and accessories. Owners can also earn credits for buying qualifying Tesla products themselves. So far it appears referral credits can only be earned for solar roof and solar panel purchases, and not for purchases of Tesla vehicles. A purchase of either Tesla energy product earns you 6,000 credits. The new referral program is accessed in the same way it was previously by opening the loot box in your mobile app. First click on your profile icon in the top right. Then, loot box. According to the app you must be on the latest version. V4.14.4 to see the new loot box. Once inside you can check your reward balance. And see how many credits it takes to redeem them for rewards. The redemption options appear to include almost all products found in the Tesla shop including the newly released Tesla sipping glasses, 1,750 credits. CCS adapter, 5,000 credits. Pet liners, 2,900 credits. Clothing, and much more. The new referral program has appeared for owners in the US but strangely not for Canadians. With the exception of one our readers in Ontario who is able to access it and shared the screenshots above with us. However, as you can see the supercharger credits reference them being in miles and not kilometers. So this may just be a bug. The Tesla support page for the new program is also only available on the US version of Tesla's website, with the Canadian version still referencing the previous version of the program. Do you have the new loot box in your mobile app? Let us know in the comments below. Source reposted and summarized from Darren John at Drive Tesla Canada.